Hi class, welcome to the second half of the lesson on 3.4. We're still going to be graphing inequalities, but after we graph them, what's going to happen is that we're going to get a bounded region, and with that bounded region, we want to calculate a maximum and minimum value for an expression that is given to us. So in this case, it's the expression 3x plus a y. And what's kind of nice is that whenever you get a maximum and minimum, that's always going to be at a point where two lines intersect. So we want to get a bounded region, find those vertice points that I'm going to talk to you about in just a second, and then we're going to um, calculate each of them for the, value, for the expression 3x plus 1y. So first, let's graph all three of these lines that we just did on the first two problems of this lesson. So the first one, x is greater than or equal to 1. So an x equals line is a vertical line. So x equals 1 is a line that looks just like this. It is completely vertical at 1. And if we know x is greater than or equal to 1, it's everything to the right of 1. So I'm going to shade everything to the right of 1. So again, kind of stick with you know, one line shade left and right, the other line use the shading to go vertically up and down and then I'll show you what to do for this line as well so that you can be it can be a little bit more clear to you what that bounded region is so now y is greater than or equal to zero so you're gonna go at zero a y equals line is a completely horizontal line that goes left and right and it says y is greater than or equal to zero so that means it's above zero so I'm gonna shade everything right in here and I I'm not following my own rules again. Shade vertically for another one. So up and down right here. All right, and for our last one, we have 2x plus y is less than or equal to 6. I'm going to change this into slope-intercept form by subtracting 2x right here. So now y is less than or equal to a negative 2x, a negative 2x, plus 6. So my y-intercept is at a positive 6, and then my slope is down 2 over 1. So I'm just going to continue this slope down 2 over 1. And then let's connect our line with a straight edge, or connect our points with a straight edge. Alright, and now with this line, you shaded one vertically, you shaded another horizontally. I would say if there's a third one, shade it diagonally. Then you could see where all three of those lines come together, all that shading. So if we shade this one diagonally, I would just shade it right along the line here. So now I guess the question remains, where is, oh shoot, this is less than, that was dumb of me. Sorry, class. Boy, I'm making some mistakes here. We're shading everything that is less than that, so that's everything below the line. So I'm going to shade everything down here. And I'm still going to shade it diagonally. So now, class, you want to have a very, very bold shading where your bounded region is. And that's going to be this triangle right in here. This spot right here is where the red the blue and the green all intersect. It's everything right in here. You see how there's red, blue, and green all right in here? On your paper, if you don't have red, blue, and green, it might be where the horizontal shading, the diagonal shading, and the vertical shading all come together. It's that spot that satisfies all three equations for our inequality. And once again, make it as black as the night. Okay, Shade that in very, very dark. So that black spot is where the red, the blue, and the green all come together. It's our bounded region. And what we have, class, is that triangle. We are going to find the maximum and minimum vertices for our expression 3x plus a y. So class, we're going to get three points that are vertices of this triangle. Here is one point. I'm going to make it kind of big, hopefully that you could see. Here's another point. And our third point is up here. 
So what are all three of these points? Our origin is right here. So we're going to go right 1, up and down 0. So it's at 1, 0. Another one right over here is at right 1, 2, 3, 0. This point is at 3, 0. And then our other point, which is this one right here, this is at right 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4. Right 1, up 4. So I know that my maximum and my minimum has to be at one of these three vertices. It's never going to be somewhere that is inside the triangle or inside the figure. It's always going to be one of the vertice points. So let's put all three of these in our table. 1, 0, 3, 0, and 1, 4. As you can see, I'm putting that under the column that's labeled vertices in XY coordinate in XY ordered pairs. So that's why I put that under that column. Now you see this column. This is where we are going to calculate what each of those vertices are for 3x plus y. So 3 multiplied by the x variable, which in this case, my x is 1. 3 times 1 plus y, which y in this case is 0. We're going to do the same thing for 3, 0. 3 times the x, which, which x is 3, plus my y coordinate, which is 0 again. And then I have 3 times my x value, which my x is 1, plus my y value. In this case, my y value is 0. So what do we get? This is going to be our solution, basically, or this is going to be our calculation point. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 0. I get a value of 3. What happens when I put in 3, 0 for 3x plus y? 3 times 3 is 9, plus 0 is 9. And then my last one, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 4 is 7. So that's what I got when I calculated. So my maximum value, my highest value, is this one, the number 9. My maximum value is 9. When, at what point does this happen? At the point 3, 0. That's my x, y order pair. My minimum value is the number 3. Where does this lie at? It lies at the point on the graph of 1, 0. So class, the only difference between 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 is this chart. Okay? Once you graph all this, get a bounded region, find your three vertices, put them in your graph, calculate them for the expression that they give you, which in this case is 3x plus y, and then tell me what your maximum and minimum are and at what point that is. So why don't you guys try number four on your own? Number four will be a little bit trickier, but why don't you guys try it on your own and then you could check your work with mine. Okay, for our first one, let's put into y equals mx plus b form. So you would just subtract this 2x, and you would get y is greater than or equal to a negative 2x plus 3. So let's graph this one. My y-intercept of a positive 3, and then my slope of being down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. You can do that for the whole, as much graph paper as you're given. I'm just going to connect these dots with a straight edge now. And then you're going to shade. Let's see, this one is greater than, so you're going to shade everything above the line. I'm going to shade, shade this one horizontally, left to right. Next one. I will do this one in green. So if I were to solve for this one, I would say that 3y is less than or equal to a positive x, because I added x plus 9, and then divide by 3 here. So I would get y is less than or equal to 1 third x plus 3. 1 third x plus 3 
that's going to be my second line that I'm going to graph. So I have a positive 3 again for my y-intercept. For my slope, I'm going to go up 1 over 3. Up 1 over 3. Let's connect these dots with the straight edge. And the first one I shaded left to right, so this one I'll shade top to bottom. And this one is less than or equal to, so I'm going to go everything below the line. So everything right in here so far is my solution. All right, let's do my third and final one. So for this one, I'll do it in blue. I'm just going to subtract this 2x. So y is less than or equal to 10. Or let's go our x's first. So y is less than or equal to a negative 2x plus 10. So my y-intercept is at a positive 10. And then I'm going to have a slope of down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Let's connect these with our straight edge. And now, class, if you're noticing something here, you're probably noticing that we don't have a bounded region here, do we? Let's first graph this one, I guess, or shade it. It's going to be less than and equal to. So you did your first one, left to right, your second shading, top to bottom, your third, diag your third shading, let's do diagonally. And it's everything less than, so it's going to be everything below the line. So now, class, where is that common shading part that you, where you see blue, red, and green? Or on your paper where you see vertical shading, horizontal shading, and diagonal shading? Hopefully you see that it is right in here. So make this area very, very dark, because that's going to be your solution. And you're going to notice that we do not have a bounded region. That's because this line right here and this line right here are parallel. If they were not parallel, if they had different slopes than the same slope, then you would have an intersection point, in which case you would get a triangle again. But in this one, because those two lines are parallel, you actually don't have a bounded region. You only have a region that stops up on top. This goes forever and ever and ever down into the, down into the right for infinity. So instead of having three vertices, we're only going to have two vertices. The, those vertices are at this point, which our origin is right here. So at 1, 2, 3, it's at 0, 3. That's one of our vertices. And the other one, might be kind of hard to see now, is right, 1, 2, 3, and up, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's at right, 3, and up, 4. So these are the only two points that I need to calculate for this expression, 5x plus 4y. So it's going to be 5 times 0 plus 4 times my y value of 3. And 5 times 3 plus 4 times 4. So for the one on the top, 5 times 0 is 0, plus 4 times 3, which is 12. 0 plus 12 is 12. On our second one, we have 15 plus 16. That is a value of 31. So to find my maximum value, my maximum value is this one right here. It is 31. It is at the ordered pair 3, 4. Now class, this next part is going to be a little bit more tricky. The minimum value. Many of you might have put the minimum value as 12. That, however, is incorrect. There isn't one. The reason why there is no minimum value is because this keeps on going lower and lower and lower and off to the right, off to the right, off to the right. Because it's not bounded, you do not have one. It is none. Because that continues to go down into the right forever and for infinity. 
So be aware of that as you do your worksheet as well. So our assignment is going to be worksheet 3.4a as well as accelerated math objective number 28. Be very careful to do correct shading and once you do your shading find those vertices points, put that into your chart and calculate them for the expression that you're given. Let me know if you have any questions on that when you get to class tomorrow.